So welcome to this episode of The Rumble. My guest today is from the IT industry. Uh, a lot of you uh, must have met uh, a lot of them, uh, though I must confess uh, that I know a very few of them. Uh, my guest today is Anand Krishnan. So welcome to the show, Anand. Thank you. So I, I'm not going to mention where you're working for. For whatever reason, you don't want to say that, that's fine. But you have been in the industry for what, 5, 10 years, 15 uh, years, 20 years? Yes, uh, more than 21 years now. Okay, and did you get into it because you wanted to get into it or you just ended up there? Uh, I Honestly, I ended up there. Is that the way I, to, is that the right way to get into it? You shouldn't plan no, to get into no, it. No, so, yeah, but it didn't, the way my career, uh, uh, I mean, unfolded is uh, very interesting. But I, th- I don't think uh, we, it's a subject of talk here. But yeah, I, I intended to be an aeronautical Why, engineer. Why, unless you, don't, you want to hide the name of your college, uh, no problem if you mention it. No, no, it's not, it's not, it's so, not. So, so tell us, where, where did you start from, schooling? Schooling, I studied in St. Joseph's College Which and is? in Allahabad. Allahabad. Okay. okay. And uh, after completing my uh, education there, I joined engineering in Allahabad itself. So, and um, then I uh, accidentally, I mean, I am from electronics background and uh, okay. I accidentally, I, I should say I accidentally joined uh, uh, this company. I mean, I entered IT industry and uh, from So, you've there, been the all the while started. in one company? All the while or, in one company. You know, you've not been the regular IT guy who's been swapping and jumping companies no, all the time? No, no, But uh, I am ah. from a school, old school of thought and that's how we were uh, taught in our organization to be loyal to one organization. But I think now we, people like me, they are out of focus and we are considered as a... You are a rarity. Rarely, I think people now consider, the new generation cons- consider us as fools actually, you know. Bit of because, a dinosaur. Uh, you know? Correct, correct. <coughs> now you mostly people, organize, even organization, they they want uh, monkeys basically. You know, every two years they keep jumping, they just want changing move on. companies. Correct. Why, why do they do that? I mean, they valued loyalty and long term service to a company so much and now they don't want it. That's interesting, uh, uh, I mean, uh, observation. Uh, my wife is an HR. Okay, so she used to tell me that uh, in HR industry, HR organization, in HR department, they make sure that uh, people you know who keep jumping the companies, they have some kind of uh, uh, filtering mechanism. They don't take that kind of candidate. No, having said this, the same kind of HR or same organization, they now resort to or they uh, they make sure that uh, they they prefer such kind of candidates who you know keep jumping from one organization to the other. Is it to say on things like um, gratuity and all that, you know, that builds up as you go along? No, 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 there's a, there's a different um, uh, psychology here. See, uh, it's unfortunate and fortunate also, uh, both ways, is that if you remain uh, uh, in a single organization, the homogeneous growth does, doesn't happen. If you keep shifting from one organization to the other, heterogeneous growth happens. That means, what I mean is that if you remain in an organization, your promotions or your benefits, they are limited actually. By whatever means, it's a, it's a usual human psychology. That means a, a okay. person who you, whom you so see... So you slowly every, graduate uh, Absolutely. And... But when you go into a different organization altogether, so you are presented as a different person. A person so you can so jump grades. Absolutely. So the promotions are there, you know, okay. hikes are there. The, I mean, that is unfortunate, but this is what happening in the industry today. So the company is also happy to get people like that. Uh, apparently, come jumping from somewhere, they jump and go somewhere. Apparently, they are happy, but it seems uh, it's a wrong. Uh, in my opinion, it's a wrong thing, because somewhere you are letting down the 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 good resources who really they are working for you or uh, they cherish or they value the company. Okay. So when you are, you said you are uh, from electronics. I'm from electronics. Yeah. So IT is information technology. Correct. So electronics and IT don't necessarily have to go together. No, but they are cousins. Oh, they you can say they cousins. Lumped together? No, they are cousins, you can say. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's like when we say IT, do you mean electronics or is it... Without just electronics, there's no IT. So, it's a, that's why I said it's a cousin kind of thing. But they are doing mostly uh, programming and <coughs> writing code. So, where the hell is electronics in that? No, but uh, the, the basic hardware. Without hardware, there's no IT. Hey, I own a computer. I know nothing about it except other to switch it on. <laughs> there's, there's not a thing I know about it. That, that's fine. But so what, what do you guys know who come and do uh, coding? They also do the same. Sit on it. It better work. No, but I'm 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 not a coder by DNA. You know, I'm a, I'm a infrastructure person. So I deal with hardware and all. Okay. Yeah. So so you're, you're not in the regular 
uh, i'm not a regular uh, i mean so to speak i'm not a coder i'm not a developer i don't code but we are for the infrastructure so infrastructure is very important because without infrastructure you can where where, where, where you going to put a code there and of course without the, the coders the, your infrastructure right. of no use so who, Absolutely. who would be uh, that's a more valuable in the, to a company both it, without yeah. a infrastructure there is no coder there is no organization nothing so it's both are complementing each other so the machines are the ones that you guys device or is, is something more to it than which i don't understand uh, the machines are already uh, it's a it's an industry standard there's nothing to be invented everything is standard the the beauty of it it industry is everything is standardized so that okay. means you don't have to worry about whatever the uh, manufacturers may be i mean any manufacturer the specifications are designed in such a way they are, they are implemented in such a way that you can buy from any organization it will fit everywhere uh, you know perfectly so the it industry if i say is to learn how to use these machines which are installed and get something out of it i would i would i would imagine that's what you mean absolutely i'm okay so now we see when you open the newspapers it's full of news about the information uh, technology industry it industry correct and uh, it sometimes scares the hell out of me because there's so many youngsters drawing what looks like astronomical salaries or at least to my old fashioned mind salaries which i definitely uh, think they're not worth you know and i really don't know when i speak to them uh, they're not very communicative in the sense that i don't think they get into the communication mode they're just coding onto a machine so is all that not unimportant in their job to be able to communicate and all that is not important because none of them seem to be capable of doing it um if you see from my experience um, over this period of years um this years basically communication is very important no doubt about that and uh, that is what most of organization uh, we fail as a, i mean indian company when we as part of indian company or organization as a whole if you don't want to if you don't know how to present yourself to an external client it becomes very difficult because you may be an excellent uh, coder you may be an excellent professional but if you don't want to i uh, do how to communicate with a, a customer or client basically most or of even the, understand what his needs are absolutely that is also very important so the whole purpose got gets lost and probably the potential business you ought to have earned or uh, you, you i mean got from a client external client or internal whatever it may be lost that is lost okay so i have not been talking to too many people in your position so tell me just sort of run me through how does this whole industry work is it that you bid for jobs uh, and the jobs come out in the, in, in in a specialized medium uh, which is only read by you guys so that you know that some company in the united states wants something done and so you all the it companies in india pitch for that or is there something more to it that which we don't know yeah this is uh, since uh, this it being more established i mean you're talking about typical let's say for example infrastructure mm. i'm not talking about the, the typical roads and all so mostly you have a um, uh, country i mean national newspapers where government takes out out uh, advertising right advertisements yes. are there about uh, uh, impending yeah, opportunity uh, and or all tender they call correct, for tenders correct. what is that yeah. here also something of that sort happens but a uh, matter of fact um, company like us or i mean there are a lot of companies in india for that matter or around the world they are so well established that you you are already uh, interacting with so many clients across the world okay. so mostly those com- kind of communication which happens it happens internally there is no need to go to an external newspaper or something like that but okay. still it happens some of the companies they do uh, those kinds no, of if you are no, if you are in a competitive business and you want to outbid somebody or Can- do a better job than him or quote lesser Correct. or faster time whatever Correct. so it's a kind of network which is sort of below the horizon no uh, below the surface no in in a in a single entity or single organization there are already there are more than one companies they competing each other the same organization for that for oh, that matter okay. yeah so you are already competing it's not that our company is the only company working for, a, for that particular organization or, or organization a or b whatever it is there are already more than uh, one company so they we are already competing against each other so when and then client these days clients are also very smart so, so they, they go shopping for the best yeah they do internally you don't have to go outside no? i know the whole drama ha- happens inside the organization itself and is it still done the old fashioned way you look at each other talk to each other and skype this that and the other or is it all specs going flying back and forth no it's so uh, specs but mostly it's a email kind of thing or a telecon or a webex something like that so who deals uh, with the foreign client i'm talking about the foreign clients indian clients will speak in hindi or tamil or whatever to them but the guys overseas 
uh, there'll be somebody responsible in the company who does that or is it this team of coding people no it's uh, coding they they are not exposed to the client so, so that's not their job at all no it's not not the job it's it's the marketing guys so there are various uh, verticals you have a financial vertical these are called bfs1 bfs2 you know banking financials then already there are eight to nine more than more than that uh, you have verticals across the organization uh, right from humanities to travel to so you need uh, specific domain knowledge or is that you need to be yeah. a master of everything no no you need to have specific so you cannot just work across the domain so if i uh, specialize for humanities or i, I specialize for let's say travel and tourism mm. so i will i will concentrate on that area vertical itself so um, if a science background uh, somebody who uh, into that they'll be the ones who will automatically get into the coding section of it or do you just other domain knowledge people also get into other domain knowledge they these days a lot of people are from mechanical or for that matter let's now, say how about, civil, a, how about a bcom yeah people are there because it's, their knowledge is required to it's, it's, it's to required it's required see what happens is that these kinds of mediums or uh, different areas uh, i mean when they enter into it industry see coding is a is a different area altogether that's a different capability okay but you need these kind of spe- special outsiders who, who can bring in yeah more better understanding so do, do you have a team where you have a coding guy and the domain knowledge uh, domain specialist Correct. sitting together to do it yeah, is yeah, that absolutely, is that absolutely, absolutely. and it does a lot of back and forth happen with the client and you or or they just say they're very clear in what you get no them. initially when you get the business it's only a matter of the the the, the professional i mean the Uh, the people who are marketing the marketing guys and the and the client but once the, that business understanding is established then you enter the third party that is the developer or there are other areas like uh, other people who experience like project managers who try to understand the uh, the inputs the requirements so there is still so there is still hope for all these humanities uh, students uh, who are going to different colleges that they'll be absorbed in some area within this industry or is it it doesn't happen of that on often but yeah required yep the requirements always there so now let me talk about one aspect of this industry that that worries me when i say worries me actually i don't care but uh, i i think hmm. and i wonder whether people are thinking which is this whole industry it in india is actually mostly there to support somebody overseas okay. the way i see it Am I right in that? Correct. I mean, that's how our uh, Indian um, uh, mentality or uh, the way we have been brought up that happens like so this. So, why is that? Is it because the need for it is overseas only, mostly, or that we don't require this uh, kind of knowledge? Uh, it's. I consider myself very. Uh, uh, if I understand your questions correctly, I consider myself very lucky having seen this evolution very clearly. I mean, okay. Um, let's say uh, about twenty years ago. Uh, you don't see that kind of number of cars or uh, you know the the quality of living you know standards yes. across india okay. but you can see how things have changed dramatically that is i think because of it there's no question about so it. that's because we have been earning good money yeah so something that would have paid very little money absolutely. if, uh, if our, the client had only been indian absolutely now you're being paid much better money correct all right so now do you think this requirement and also i must say sorry for interrupting Uh, i must say here is that um, the because the clients they were from abroad that is mostly all western clients yeah. there's no market still if you see honestly there's no market internal market mm. the domestic market yet to pick up so mostly they are all western market or american market for that matter so um, yeah because of the disparity of the currency the buying power is multiple multifold so that means the person who's earning the money has a lot of capability in terms of you know purchasing power back in india that, that that's why they are happy to come and deal with us Absolutely. with our uh, cheap currency Absolutely. but uh, did you ever think that this might just slow down one day and they do they say enough we have we've got the perfect program you know to keep tweaking this damn thing every day of our lives then what will happen to all these hundreds of thousands of youngsters uh, no it doesn't happen it will never happen because um let's say i always say this uh, we are standing in the same crossroad um uh, when the first main frames came first main frames so or the first desktops came because when you code for those hardwares you have to keep on improving that means when you code 
you add more uh, modules more applications more capabilities so what you coded at that point of time may not be relevant or may so it's almost like programming uh, correct or maybe at loggerheads with other modules okay. so it's a ever changing evolution or environment basically so whenever whatever and, we code, and demanding all demanding the time. also yeah so you have to keep on coding new things keep on testing them and then keep on it's like i guess them. i guess like these uh, viruses coming in you make a <laughs> vaccine for it i believe they introduce yeah, a new virus correct, and it keeps on uh, it's a closed loop system yeah closed loop self perpetuating yeah. so, so that that's that's one reason why we might just keep on going and doing this forever correct and is it also because truly speaking our education system has developed extremely good and intelligent programmers and uh, and coders or is there no such thing or we just had them uh, uh no doubt about that because mathematics traditionally we have been very strong indians so it has definitely definitely helped us but if we if our education system is uh, changed a bit i mean the way we if we uh, give more prominence more impetus to practicality i think we can pick up right from you know stage 1 rather than that uh, you know uh, i think maybe 4 to 5 years of uh, incubation where they learn from the job or with they learn from the oh, so you platform. jump in fully prepared absolutely absolutely that will not happen because most of the time it happens like they they learn from the job so you learn from your peers and then you show your capability to move so forward. you think uh, we'll be quite happy sustaining the industry as it is right now no need to panic no need to worry about it just do your job and or should you worry no you must worry to certain extent because uh, now you see the visa regimes are they become very difficult and the rejection rates are uh, quite high so i'm let me finally come to one point mm-hmm. which has been bothering me mm-hmm. which is do you see an end to this requirement of uh, programming from india uh, end to it from from our clients overseas do they ever saying okay we've got out of the indians what do we want let's it finish now knock it off <laughs> no it's not that way um the way it happens is uh, see uh, uh, if you see uh, for the last 40 years uh, since the inception of mainframes and all those and then the desktops and all see continuous improvement is happening so you have it's a kind of intertwining uh, close and i mean close ended system where uh, you uh, code for the initial coded for the initial mainframes or the desktops and then the lot of improvement in the technology is happening in terms of both language as well as hardware so you keep on when the hardware is changing you have to you have port oh, the so, oh, new okay. code into the new hardware right. when the new the languages are also changing uh, evolving. Uh, evolving along with the hardware so when the language is changing the new the uh, need arises for uh, putting that same logic into a new language we use the, the old logic into the new language and okay. see so when you make the changes then the requirement for performance testing the code analysis the structural testing so all these then are the skills of the people that skills also that yeah, needs upgrading absolutely. all the time the people are also improving their skills uh, on and on so it's a kind of uh, intertwining so uh, you know dependent that, that, that takes uh, you know <clears throat> it sort of makes us feel all right this is a is is a good uh, thing that you said absolutely you know, very comforting feel good factor yeah, but we should not sit idle uh, you know and uh, yeah, yeah. be complacent about it but yeah uh, this is the so there is a certain continuity which you can expect absolutely. somebody who's given us something in the beginning will keep coming back to us for absolutely, more absolutely so is it like the, the software in i mean the the virus industry as they say yeah. they build in something into Correct. it as they give you a new <laughs> new vaccine they build in a new virus absolutely and then it keeps on uh, self generating new new problems absolutely. so do you guys ever do that create no. a new problem when you no, when you no, fix no. one glitch <laughs> we can't do that but uh, accidentally definitely it happens because nobody can be perfect but well, that's why it's called an yeah. accident that's why that's why we again we are there <laughs> to solve the bugs <laughs> so accidents actually tell work some good value <laughs> correct in a good <laughs> you you create bugs and then you solve so these kind of relationships that start uh, your company with some client in the USA do you have a situation where they say i, I think these guys are a bunch of duffers i'm going to get out of this lot and go go to a new one is it possible no no it's not like that uh, some i mean uh, we have great relationship it happens like that but once in a while misunderstandings happen uh, do happen and uh, you just uh, but, but is it possible for a talk, client is it possible for a client to walk out 
uh, it happened i mean it happens once in a while i mean uh, things go wrong suddenly and uh, because of various reasons there are a lot of reasons i mean from the client side there is a political change happening in the organization you know or new uh, management new ideas correct there. correct so it may happen that because okay, you don't want your services no, i mean uh, the world is not this is not the end of the world we move on and it happens that we, uh, later on maybe a couple of years after we end, end up with the same client no Okay. with a new management so you don't burn any bridges you no, just no 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 nothing just keep going no, no, just enjoy <laughs> <laughs> enjoy is a good word so these companies uh, are spread right across industry who yep. who will require your services so you're not looking at any one sector no uh, we have different vertical as a um, as as you uh, you may know in uh, it industry you have different verticals and they serve across that means uh, you have humanities you have travel so in your case you've been for so many years mm-hmm. give me a, a run through of the kind of industries that you I have worked, served in i have worked in uh, banking i have worked in uh, travel and tourism uh, i have worked in um, let's say money transactions okay. the banking okay. again i mean para banking kind of how about um, processes uh, manufacturing processes which are Manuf- automated do they that, that also requires manufacturing work. and fortunately i have not done that most of them it's a banking sector or a travel kind of thing so these engineers who come or retail for that matter big okay. department stores yeah they they are the, they are the most visible yeah they require it more than you know anybody else in fact so they are the kind of people you will serving correct and are they very uh, demanding like i know that they work in the daytime we work at night so the it industry doesn't have that particular problem i think the ones no. who are the bpos have that problem no no we timings. have we have because most of the organization they have their back office here in india back office in means it's a development center also so okay. they we call it offshore so that's yeah. the biggest problem uh, as you said uh, the, the difference of timings no so people have to come in different shifts and all they are a little bit but uh, then issues you happening. said they have their own uh, office here the front, the client has his own office in no, india so that makes things easy no but you. people provide uh, the 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 people who are working they are from uh, our own organization right yeah they don't come from there so it's some it's a different so when it's almost some of the areas in for example if i take an example of us it's most of the areas uh, if you of us uh, time the us has three to four yeah, time, yeah. time well, zones 10 no? 12 hours for so, yeah the 10.5 hours difference and all so when it is day it is night here so that's that becomes oh it will be a problem for those people to operate yeah, absolutely yeah. with their bosses out there in correct the, correct correct but for you guys it will be simple no, to have a back end fellow here you yeah, can just talk to one yeah real time yeah it, it it comes the problem comes when you interact with uh, your counterparts across and another uh, thing a lot of people ask me is does the it industry spoil its employees with all these Uh, luxuries that they seem to dish out to them uh, i don't know whether they still do that but they used to have uh, every known uh, franchisee in their f- food court which uh, the average man outside is still managing with idli dosa here these guys are having is it still going on it doesn't happen like that once used to happen but mostly they are all uh, I mean, I mean uh, western companies they they started this trend but now they too have closed out because of various challenges financial issues and all so money is not coming that easy these days so okay and i guess th- that was just a novelty when it started the uh, the opportunity to eat uh, you know a mcdonald's burger know, yeah. but now that that charm is off and yeah, we yeah. were back to our parathas and correct, whatever correct, correct. so we quite managed quite well yeah absolutely so the uh, people who who are working today they They, you think that they will be the ones that will take up bigger and bigger appointments, or is it you, constant new blood has to keep coming in into this industry? Um, new blood is definitely very important, but at the same, the old blood is equally important because they turn peers and uh, the valuable um, uh, the experiences they gain. So they tend to you know they teach or they make the new blood. And do companies encourage them to push up as you said in the beginning? Jump companies and do uh, people develop their own new company like startups? No, no, often nobody wants anybody to leave so it all happens in uh, when things go really bad or they can't uh, i mean because of various financial reasons and all those things Otherwise, performance and all those things but the... nobody wants uh, to you know just leave uh, any company thanks anand it's been thank you very much to you yep i enjoyed so we we'll meet thank again thank you sure thank you thank you very much